The polio virus is causing concerns across the country once again. Joining me now is Dr. Yvonne Maldonado from Stanford Healthcare. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us about this. Sure. Thank you for inviting me. So let's start off with what exactly is the polio virus and how does it spread? Well, polio is a, a in intestinal virus. It's one viruses that cause fevers and rashes, mostly in young children. They're summer viruses. But the three polio viruses are really uh, known for causing paralysis. And uh, we haven't seen this in many, many years. But in the 1950s, there were large outbreaks of paralysis due to polio virus um, before we had any vaccines. And in the 50s and 60s, two vaccines were developed that really helped us uh, stop the spread of polio. It is an intestinal virus, so it can be spread from uh, poor hy hygiene, poor sanitation, um, and also uh, rest sometimes rarely respiratory secretions. But the big problem in the 50s and 60s were people were worried about swimming pools and summer camps because kids could have this infection. Uh, the problem with polio is that, or the good news and the bad news is that polio, most of the time, 95% of the time, people don't have symptoms. So they don't know they're sick, which is good for them, but they could actually spread the virus and other people can get symptomatic as well. So it's rare to see paralysis. So when you see one case of paralysis, you know there may be dozens, if not a hundred or more people who are also infected, but just not having symptoms. Okay, so how effective is the polio vaccine and how long does that protection last if you get it? Well, I have to say this is almost a, a, a eliminated disease. With, since the advent of the two vaccines in the 50s and 60s, we have seen a drop in the world from hundreds of thousands of cases in every country to today, uh, less than two dozen cases in the whole world of the wild virus. So it is absolutely effective. It can keep people from getting paralysis, but it doesn't prevent infection. So if somebody gets exposed, even if they're vaccinated, they could in have their intestinal tract infected. And that means that they could spread the virus. They won't get sick themselves, but they can spread it. So that's why it's really important that people are vaccinated because they can it can protect you, not from getting infected, but from getting paralysis. And what should older adults do if they can't find their polio vaccination records from decades ago? Should they get another shot to be safe or just say, I got it, I just can't find my info? Well, I think this is really dependent on local circumstances. Most people do recommend, most health departments recommend that people get vaccinated if you are an older adult. Um, most likely, as I said, in the 50s and 60s, just about everybody got vaccinated because we were so frightened of this virus. Um, but if you can't remember or don't have your records, it doesn't hurt to go back to a provider, see if they have your records. If you can't find them, talk to your provider about getting vaccinated. It is a safe, safe vaccine. It's a killed injectable vaccine. Um, it's very safe and it protects people against paralysis. And how likely is it that the polio virus will spread to California? Well, it's possible that that will happen. And, and I, I would imagine that that's always been a possibility because uh, now we're seeing a vaccine viruses. So there's an older live vaccine virus um, that um, is no longer used in the United States. We haven't used the live vaccine virus since 1999. That virus itself, if somebody has it, been vaccinated with it, can occasionally and rarely uh, mutate to become uh, infectious and cause paralysis as well. And so it's um, that's the virus that we're mostly worried about now is the vaccine virus that's used in some other countries. So we think it could be introduced into the California or the US, it has been in the past. And that's how we think what happened in New York happened is somebody brought that live vaccine virus back, they were infected with it. And it wouldn't be a problem for somebody who was vaccinated, but if you're unvaccinated, you could be at risk for polio. What would you tell a patient who's concerned about getting infected and how would you advise them to protect themselves? Well, really the best way to protect yourself against polio virus is to be vaccinated. It is a very safe vaccine. These vaccine, the killed vaccine has been in use since the fifties. Um, it provides incredibly good protection. It's um, available very easily. And um, most, most general practitioners should be able to find access to the polio vaccine virus. That's the one way you can really protect yourself. 
Well, Dr. Yvonne Maldonado from Stanford Healthcare, thank you so much. Thanks so much.